Hey everybody, my name's Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler and welcome to Venetia. Let's check out this one. But again, before we do, right here is the link to my resale app. Up above is the link to my new construction website. You could go to either one of those links or scan the QR code with your mobile phone and it will take you directly to them. Completely free to use. Let's check out this one. So we are at Venetia. Sorry, I can't back up anymore. I'm right against the block wall. But this is a Lennar community. This is brand new. If you are thinking about buying new, you want to buy new, you're considering buying new, call me right away. Call me before you call the builder, before you email them, before you go take a look at the models in person. I need to go with you the first time. I need to call on your behalf because otherwise you're going to work directly with the sales associates and the sales associates actually represent the builder. They have their fiduciary responsibility to the builder. So if you want representation, give me a call. Again, all my info is down in the description as well as the pinned comment and fun fact. As the buyer, you don't pay the realtor fees, the commission, the builder does. So one more reason to give me a call. I'm gonna spin around really quickly so you can see where we are. We are in the south today. We are in Henderson, just right by Inspirata. Ooh, big truck coming by. I'm gonna keep spinning, throw a map up. One of the cool things. Now, I can't promise that that view will always be there, but right there is the strip. Now, a little bit about the one we are looking at today. Again, Lennar Community, Venetia. This one is the Rhett. It's four bed, three bath, 1,926 square feet. This one's gonna start at 469.90. Now, do me a huge favor and hit that like button. Also, if you wanna stay up to date, on tours make sure to subscribe so coming on in oh, let me just close the door so it doesn't slam pretty nice now these are all townhomes and i'm gonna come on over here so you can see everything so we do have a little dining area and they actually have a pretty good sized table so six person table they even have a little buffet area if you wanted to put something over there but it's pretty open downstairs. You even have your living space. They do give you pre-wire already for your TV. And then they do have a J box up top for a fan and or light. But I do like, since this is the end unit, you get all of this extra windows over here. So it's gonna let in a lot more natural light. But we do have our living area and then dining kitchen. So with the kitchen, mm, you might be able to put three uh, bar stools there at the island. It will be tight. You're probably gonna need smaller ones, but probably just two. We do have our pantry. There's a surprising amount of counter, or uh, excuse me, cabinetry in here, but your pantry is a little bit on the smaller side. We have our stainless steel fridge. They have the 40 inch uppers. Usually you're gonna have three different colors to pick from. You have the white, you have the gray like here, and then you have what they call their espresso, and usually two, maybe three different counter types. I'm gonna be honest with you, this does have upgraded flooring. Usually in the kitchen, laundry, entry, and bathrooms, you're gonna get tile, and then everywhere else throughout the house, you are gonna get carpet. So figure probably, mm, 15 to 20 grand worth of uh, flooring in here because I'm guessing they upgraded the carpet as well with the padding. The backsplash is gonna be an optional upgrade. We do have our stainless steel microwave. We have our four burner cooktop here. I'm going to check and see, first of all, do they have, nope. It vents inside so it just recirculates and let's see, they are soft closing. So that is pretty nice. If we spin around to our island, we have our stainless steel dishwasher and we have our stainless steel under mounted sink. If you don't know what this is right here, this is a reverse osmosis water filter. So it's basically bottled water that comes out right there. Here's your view. You really are in the middle of everything. The island is actually pretty big for this space, but let's go ahead and head on down the hall. Now, unfortunately the garage is locked. It's a two car garage. Garage is on the back, entries on the front but they use it as storage and or an office space. First bedroom. So let's turn the light on here. So not bad. Full size bed, two nightstands. You could probably cheat the bed over and get a desk in here and maybe a dresser, but 
it's a little bit on the smaller side, but I've seen much, much smaller. We have our window and then we do have our two door closet again. Like always, if you need extra hanging space, move the barn shelf up, add a second one. You've essentially doubled your closet space. Again, we have our garage, and then right here, we have our powder room. So you have pedestal sink, you have your toilet, and ooh, I was gonna say, is this a half bath? But no, we do have a shower. So it is a smaller shower, but we do have a shower nonetheless. You have your shower head, you have your valve, you have two little shelves for soap, but that is nice. Say you get injured, you can't go upstairs, say you have an elderly parent, maybe just a guest room, there is a shower here. So this carpet is definitely upgraded. So just keep those things in mind with Lennar. Usually you can't really do any upgrades, but they do allow flooring. And basically if they haven't started yet, you could pick your cabinet color and you could pick your countertop. Coming on up. Again, if you have any questions about anything I'm saying, please feel free to reach out to me. All my info is down in the description as well as the pinned comment. So we have our loft space and we even have a little nook space right here. This is actually a really nice size loft. So we have some sitting area. I wonder, hmm, so they don't have a pre-wire uh, pre for TV, just so you know. But let's also hit that light. Not bad. Let's go ahead and head on down this way and then we'll get back to the primary. We'll go all the way down first. So right here, we have our up, or upstairs bath. It's interesting that they chose to do a pedestal sink downstairs since there is a shower. So no storage in that bathroom. I know with sometimes, but I'm doubting it since it is Lennar, they do allow for a second sink option. Do you like the single sink or would you rather have the double sink? I've asked that in the question or in the um, to comment down below and it's like 50 50. Some people do like this for just counter space for makeup or toothbrush or stuff like that since they don't have medicine cabinets, but mm, I'm kind of torn. Coming on in, you do have a door to close off the actual water closet. One thing to note though is since the door does swing in, you're gonna have to stand like all the way in there or in the tub just so the door can clear. We have your toilet and then we have our tub shower combo again. Same thing as before. It is a fiberglass composite. Again, one of the nice things is there's no grout. It's easy to clean, but coming on out, we spin directly. We get into our first upstairs bedroom. And this is a very, very nice size bedroom. So full size bed, huge nightstands. Uh, this is really nice size. Actually, you could get a desk over here if need be but I'm impressed with how big this room is. So a little bit smaller closet up here. Again, if you need more hanging space, just move that bar shelf up. One of the things I do like about the upstairs here is it's not nine foot, or excuse me, eight foot ceilings. It looks like it's nine foot ceilings. So it makes the room feel even bigger than what it is. And it's already a big room. Directly across. So this room's just a tiny bit smaller, just because it doesn't have that bump out like it did on the other one. But again, nice size room, full size bed, two nightstands, dresser. I'm kind of impressed. Nice big window, but very sciencey in here. And then again, you have your two door closet. Coming on out of here, we get to our laundry room and it's actually again, nice size. So. Washer and dryer are not included. You can always buy it from them or if you wanna buy uh, whatever brand you want later on, you can do so. You just get a shelf. Other builders will allow you to option up if you want upper. Sometimes they even let you do a lower and or sink. So just keep those things in mind. Different builders operate in a little bit different fashion. But coming on into our primary before we get there, we have our linen closet and then into our primary bedroom and bathroom. Nice. So king size bed. We have our bench. We have our two nightstands. I wish, and this is the one thing I wish about Lennar, because this room is almost in need of additional lighting. Now it is nice since it is an end unit. You get multiple windows, but this big of room, Ooh, there's even a balcony. Let's see if we can sneak out. You're not quite there, but you're getting close to needing 
additional can lighting. We will get to that closet in just a second. Ooh, smoke detector. But we do have a balcony. Will it let us out? Oh, cool. So you do have a little private balcony off the primary suite. Come on out just so you can see where we are. There are pretty views, but I bet eventually they will get blocked and they will be building all right here. I don't know what that is zoned for yet, if it's gonna be commercial use or residential use. I'm guessing probably residential since everything else is. Commercial is kind of down the street, not really that far. Coming on into our closet. So we do have a walk-in and it's not bad. Pretty good size. And then if we come on into our primary bath, so same cabinets as in the kitchen, as in the other bath, nice big sheet glass. I do really appreciate the privacy glass. The only thing I'm thinking is I just filmed their like 750 to almost $900,000 homes. They used this exact same tub shower combo or a separate tub, separate shower. So it's interesting to see that in a town home for 500,000, they're throwing the exact same stuff in their almost million, like eight to nine hundred thousand dollar homes. So kind of interesting. And then we have our toilet and it's actually a nice big water closet in here. You're not gonna get trapped with the door. Overall, what do you think about this one? Leave a comment down below. Would you live in a town home? This is pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. Especially since you have that little private balcony. Again, if you have any questions about anything I've said in this tour regarding this home, a different new home, resale, if you need to speak with the lender, all my info is down in the description as well as the pinned comment. You could do me a huge favor and hit that like button. Again, make sure to subscribe. And as always, thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.